What? Good YouTube, and welcome to a spooky edition of Market Watch. I have like three Market Watches worth of information to shove into this one video, so I'm going to try to keep a timely pace with that, starting with those spooky rumors actually around Gold Series, because if you're a vendor and you have these cards, they're pretty terrifying, and people are running already dropping them in price. We see Verte Anaconda, it was $72.75 not too long ago, and it's rumored to be in Gold Series, and by the way, EU vendors should start to see their shipments next Tuesday to Wednesday, so expect a lot more leaks probably around then. The Mega 10 leaks did take a while versus EU vendors getting their cases in though, so we will see what happens there. But Verte, 60, 62, 63, definitely down in price versus what it was thanks to the rumors. And also Access Code Talker, I've seen so many amazing memes like Peter Griffin, oh, Access Code, what are you doing in Maximum Gold? It wearing like Supreme Maximum Gold wear, all these different things all around that terrible anime art but memes do influence the market people do get shaky they get a little scared and what this was going 162 165 in mass and now we see 140 please take it from me listings so gold series is coming and if you want to get your sooner than later because remember what happened with those cyber strike structure decks i usually want to spend money on rumors but you can use code what's good five for five percent off and to support the channel directly on some of the best prices over here and i imagine if we see any of those reveals actually in there people are hyped over the current ones this will be gone that same day and over on the eu side of things tier zero does worldwide shipping on these but they are different amounts there's six tuck boxes instead of five per display and then that will also affect how many are in per case that's why it has a higher price but still break it down see what works for you depending on the region you are in but yeah if you're interested in sealed diamond hands we see that works almost well with every single gold series in history the question is how long your opportunity costs. I'm not a financial advisor channel. I don't know where you could put your money one place versus another, but if you do like sealed Yu-Gi-Oh!, I think this is a pretty good one to keep long term. Synchro Storm has some interesting things. Bird Call is actually going up in price. I guess we're Bird Watch now. And then we also have the other pieces, very low in quantities. Cork is also super low in quantities and starting to head up in market price. And Baroness sitting there. Oh, just wait for Baroness. She'll fall down. You have no idea how many times I've seen that in my comment section. And that does not work the same with Duelist Packs. I can't emphasize it enough. Whenever you have a meta card in Duelist Packs, yes, maybe the competition can ramp up and it goes down in price a little but historically we've seen magician souls bane gold do nothing but go up even when they're not in the metagame anymore thanks to banlist like hitting malicious to two they only have gone up competitive cards and duelist packs tend to be pretty darn pricey i'll also say i think crystal clear wing could be a little underestimated in terms of its actual effect and what it does but here it is one of the few top end cards actually going down in price while others are going down in quantities or up in price in synchro storm so you might want to use that tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying before these prices get more terrifying effect veil or platinum rare has been bought out yep there's something for everybody here when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh market but it does the exact same thing as say the common or the starlight i unironically like how platinum veiler works it's one of the very few platinum rares i think really works it and you see people even going after the premium gold any holographic just not to be stuck with a common people do love their shiny Yu-Gi-Oh cards and also with that platinum gold sark is going up in price and the only things i can think of Floon the Rees. i was thinking of other decks my discord said well some sword souls might play it and then you also have thunder gaining a little bit more popularity but i would have to think it's due to Floon the Rees and people wanting any hollow version as the gold version is also super low on quantities of course good luck getting the prize card Geo Mathmech Final Sigma haven't talked about this card since MBT spiked it thanks to his tournament and enthusiasm around that isn't it really cool actually how much interconnectivity is in the streaming community to make people passionate enough to go after certain cards I actually think that's cool it's one of the reasons such as tournament results that I actually more so accept in terms of yo people coming together around the meme or this certain card and doing it i kind of respect that more than yeah greedy buy out i'm buying hundreds of these and i'll sell them later i think that's more the communal thing is actually somewhat neat but we do see this boss monster way up in price but mystic fighter is now targeted a little bit in gold series hmm? we'll see as that continues on and also chimera tech rampage dragon is extremely low in quantities but not spiked huge up in price yet might get that sooner than later as we've seen tons of different cyber dragon 
buyouts. I think I've covered almost 10 of them at this point. You have Galaxy Soldier, you have Fortress, you have Mega Fleet, just so many different buyouts. Rev System. So here's another one that's going for all versions of it. And nice gimmick, Konami. The color rares in terms of blue, purple, not red because we don't want to confuse it with 20th anniversary or 10,000 dragon. Well, look at this. The ultra rare regular version, which I've been telling you guys for a long time, seems to be the safest thing to go after, is 10x in price versus available listings of purple, green, and blue. What a freaking, like, like, look at your gimmick, Konami, seriously, because people clearly prefer just how it regularly looks, and I hope you move away from this and towards something cooler in Legendary Duelist Season 3. Raid Raptor Painlanius Mega Pack version is way up in price for some reason, 420 Blaze It, and then you see the common is a dollar common, you might not have known you had that much money, and it had me looking around at Raid Raptors, and I noticed Four Strict Secret has a $10 market price. And there's a lot less ultras, but I've never seen an OTS super that is semi-competitive with this many listings. This may be a bit of a penny stonk call, but I could see this easily being $5 down the road. This engine incorporating itself back. Never underestimate for Strix in terms of we saw it with Zoo, we've seen it with Time Thieves. It could easily creep itself back into a metagame as an engine for everything that it does. And I like the secret rare version of this card that most like, you know, Break Sword. I could see this going up towards a $20 secret someday. Destiny Hero Dasher gets even more expensive as we're missing a reprint and a lot of people are choosing him in the Fusion Destiny engine where we're summoning Destroy Phoenix. He's finally here. So be aware that this has just gotten even more expensive. You might want to sell yours sooner than later. I'm actually super tempted to sell my ultimate rares in May just to update that ultimate rare buy. Man, they are going like crazy even in the ultis in terms of sales rates. Now, some cards I would pick up sooner than later slash Penny Stonks will be involved in this market watch super tidying is going down in quantities and while the dragon maids are the eternal rivals on market watch this card gets played and it's a rise of the duel super versus a rare reprint for its accessible version and you can see it's worth a lot more i would think about actually getting this version first said the original super it may never get a better you know hull reprint and we've seen the top end for dragon maid stuff can get very ridiculous. I could see this unfortunately going up, so I would get that sooner than later. Burst of Destiny not looking much better over on TCG Player. Good news, Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily has lowered quite a few of their prices, while others, the Starlights, were selling out like crazy, so some of those have been upped in price. We see Destroy Phoenix now down towards 110, and I know a lot of people were pointing out the Tier 0 pre-sales along with me, but the thing about having really competitive prices versus everybody else is you sell out, and they have sold out of so many of their top end cards. And I do like that stuff like Mo Yi has come down towards 6 9 nice, towards $70, a lot more competitive when we're looking at over here and people are trying to charge 80 actually getting mass sales rates on this price going up. Well, not the most, actually. A lot of people not biting. Yo, I have to congratulate. I was thinking it would be very similar. This is why you should click on things before the video. But seriously, I was thinking the sales rates would be like this guy, where they're flying off the shelves at 150 140 but no people are actually wising up to the tcg player pre-sale game you know maybe my shouting into the void is actually doing a little something something but yeah the price is over here just wait for competition for sure but the boxes are flying at 90 dollars a box and that is eyebrow raising in terms of that's near msrp which almost never happens even successful sets usually start at 70 dollars so i do think there is a reason to have prices up slash try to keep some stock in versus just selling out so it's a little bit more but i do think these are some of the best prices on the market and i would still evaluate okay what could end up going up versus day one on the market versus week two on the market because i think some things will continue to actually spike versus hold where a lot of other cards will end up falling out versus their hype yeah it's just crazy like i know that tier zero actually did more burst than they usually do for any other set yet they're still getting slammed like this lightning storm beating a dead horse here on market watch is continuing to go up in price as is f0 and down in quantities just be aware that's a thing now f0 is almost a 30 dollar ultra rare i told you get your sooner than later and there's even less collector rare slash up in price of this this version, I could see this maybe being 150 down the road. But yeah, I've been telling you guys, look at these cards, look at different versions. It's not just King's Copium. Look around and 
man, that secret rare is the mid value. The collector rare going up and spiking. The ultra rare not lagging far behind them, very low in quantities, as people actually consider board breakers and what they're doing for the next format. And F0 will be on so many in the boards. Also, that secret rare is going up. For the uh, for those driving, the F-Zero Utopic Future Prismatic Secret Rare looks like it's bouncing back. Mech Knights, Purple Nightfall, super low on quantities and slowly back up in price. I remember this dipping to 8 slash 9 at one point and they're around $12 and there's just not almost any of them. Still a fun engine that a lot of people are on and you also have World Legacy Lore Dot deck. It's so cool. And one other penny stock I was thinking of is actually the Mech Knight of the Morningstar Secret Rare because the other version is, you know, the gold letter rare non-holographic where this took forever to get its reprint in the first place and people do love their mech knights i could see this going back up over time especially if there's not a competitive hollow versus it being a first set original secret now penny stonkish for goat secret rare pyramid turtle and super rare uh not the champion pack one are actually pretty good pickups in my opinion because the rest of them you have the rares you have the commons and you only have the one competing champion pack super that's way up in price versus what it was so i kind of like the looks of of these in terms of you want a nice zombie thing that might do well over time these aren't bad at all in terms of their value Utopia Beyond is going even further beyond. Totally a Buzz Lightyear buyout. Yeah, sure. Hype from that. But no, we have so many Utopia supports coming. We know we get the update in Animation Chronicle. We're wondering where we get the structure deck. And a lot of people are saying, well, this card also fits in Virtual World. This card fits into a current metagame deck. And it's not bad. The maximum gold rare is over a dollar. So there's some money you may not have known you have. And if you have the supers, they're all five plus heading up even further right now. High Speed Roid Rubber Band Shooter. I saw you speed the roid values that's actually not me somebody said it's my alt i do know who it is maybe a certain db judge messed behind that but th that loves speed roids that should be obvious if you come to the stream high speed roid rubber band shooter though has been going up in price and down in its quantities as one of the only speed roids not reprinted and being a very good link within the deck mistworm for past formats i know so many people are on edison and other past formats well the secret rares are going up in price and even the ultra rares out of five these and and then, of course, DT being highest rarity, kind of actually not the most expensive at 22. You could have got it cheaper, of course, if you were ahead of the curve. But yeah, I, I actually don't think that's all that bad for such an icon in terms of synchro summoning. That's been left behind thanks to Trisha Lil, let's be honest. Dimensional Barrier, I know Cali Effect pointed this one out over on his series, buy these before you skyrocket, and I don't disagree, being able to call fusion for a whole turn and not have a Dragoon or Destroy Phoenix appear against you is pretty darn nice. If you do it too early, they know what to do. Also, you can call Synchro, which is really, really freaking good against Sword Soul, and I, I would say that this card, if you know you're going first, the turn long Floodgate, it does freaking work. And you have the Ultra Rares out of Dual Devastator, still very competitive, and then you have Commons besides that. So I would still pick up that Ultra. I can see this being a $2, $3 Ultra, but quality control, yep. Yeah. And finally, speaking of Cali, Cali King across the board here has been going super down in quantity and up in price among the DDD buyouts. You have Divine Zero King Rage, a lot of people looking forward to Battle of Chaos specifically towards this. Will that be where the money is at in that? I'm seeing people test and it's looking very impressive, but it still feels super hurt by hand traps, but you did get superior extenders at this point. And I feel like people are literally in the lab with DDDs. So, we will see the terrifying boards they come up with. That being said, thanks for joining the special Halloween Market Watch. Hopefully you enjoyed the vibes. Like the video if you enjoyed the discussion. Please subscribe again. Like, so many people have been joining the channel lately. I super appreciate it. And if you're coming over from the CMO series, I've been doing the series with him. It's been more fun than ever. Next week's episode is probably my favorite episode we've done so far. I would be checking out that series too with Simo. But yeah, what do you think of the gold rumors? Are they real? Are they not? We'll find out pretty darn soon. And we've also seen the guaranteed, like these are in gold. We saw it in person. Ooh, I wonder, rumors versus what's going around. Is it copium? I don't think so. I, I honestly think access code may end up in there, but we'll have to wait and see.